Now we deal with uh, another method that comes from Cl Clairo, and it's called Clairo's equation. Clairo's equation looks like this. Y equals X times Y prime plus F of Y prime. And we know the form of the solutions for Clairo's equation. It's Y equals C times X plus F of C. So basically, all I do is replace the Y prime with the arbitrary constant C. Now that's family of solutions, but it can also have a singular solution. Now remember what a singular solution is. A singular solution is a solution that cannot be derived from a family of solutions. Well, here are the formulas for finding that singular solution if it exists x equals negative f prime of t, y equals f of t minus t f prime of t. So I want to do one example here. y equals x times dy dx minus dy dx quantity cubed. Okay, so I've got it already in the form of Clairaut's equation dy dx rather than y prime. So I know a family of solutions y equals c times x minus c cubed. So that is a family of solutions to this differential equation. Now I want to find a singular solution. So I want to get it in this form. So the first thing I got to figure out is what is f of t? So it's of this form right here. And so I see f of y prime is this part. So therefore, I've got f of t is negative t cubed. Because where I see the y prime, that's the t. So let's go ahead and find f prime of t, because we're going to use it in our formula for finding the singular solution. And by the way, if you remember, this is called the parametric form, calculus 2 parametric form. So this would be negative 3 t squared. So x would be negative negative 3 t squared. So that would be 3 t squared. y would be f of t. So that would be negative, uh, that would be, excuse me, negative t cubed negative t cubed minus t times f prime of t. So that would be negative 3t squared. So that would be negative t cubed minus a minus makes this a plus 3t cubed. So that would be negative or positive 2t cubed. So now we can use what we did back in calculus 2. We can take one of these and solve for t. Well, how about if I just take this one? And so we've got y over 2 equals t cubed. So cubed root. So this would be y over 2 cubed root equals t. Well, I can plug that into x. So x equals 3 times, this would be y over 2 to the 1 third squared. So that would be 2 thirds. So to make this nice looking, why don't we cube both sides? So if we cube both sides, what do we get? We get x cubed equals 3 cubed. That would be 27. Then I've got, since a cubed root and I'm cubing it, that would leave it with the square. So this would be y squared over 2 squared, which is 4. So we get 4x cubed equals 
y squared. So this is my singular solution. And then this is my family of solutions using Clairaut's equation, using all this. Now I will give this to you if I ask a question on a party. I will give this to you and this to you. So that's Clairaut's.